Good morning, it is the occasional vlog. It is Saturday and I have been in the garden already for a bit actually. It's quite past ten. I've just been digging a little little border along me uh my garden store area that's uh somewhat still unfinished. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it is weekend. Uh we do have another probably short one this weekend. It was a short one last weekend and I think to be honest occasion that's not too bad to keep the vlogs on the shorter side. Um plans for today. Well, I'm going to do a bit of gardening work until the weather turns, which is due to happen around lunch. Uh, and then I need a good, good scrub. I'm a mucky boy. I'm messing around in the garden. Um, and later we're going over to my sister's. It's my niece's birthday this weekend, so we're going to go and celebrate that. We probably won't vlog from that. Uh, tomorrow we have something in town called... Do you know what? I can't even remember what it's called. It's at St George's Hall, and it's a... A light show to the music of Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Don't know if we'll be able to actually vlog it, to be honest, which is a bit of a shame. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But around that, you know, we'll keep busy and we'll give you... You can see Gemma for a bit and we'll have a catch-up. So I have dug a little trench along there now. I'm going to put one of these in there. Just to give it a bit of an edge and make it look a bit more finished. I've also made it more muddy than I intended to. Oh well. <laughs> Went down fine, actually. And I'm quite happy with it, apart from these are supposed to be 2.8 meet 2.4 meters long according to the sign. And they're 1.8 meters long. Which means I need another one. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. Actually looks pretty decent if I'm honest. For a quick fix. Just to keep the stones from off the lawn. I do need another piece though. As predicted, these were only 1.8 meters long even though the shelf said 2.4. I think they were just mixed up with all the rest of the timber and that sold in 2.4 lengths. As for the plan, this shed is going to spin round and face the, this way at the garden. We're going to have a garden store there, half on the flags, half on this because they're fairly level. And then another garden store next to it here. And then the front's going to be for the bins. And I think that'll do. And of course it wouldn't be our garden without some crappy LEDs lighting it up. <laughs> They're all on sale now, so I picked a few up. Also made a little bit of slow and steady progress on all the old fence panels down the back of the garden there. Which we got replaced shortly around the time when the tree came down. Uh, and I never threw out the old panels and they're all covered in spiders and stuff so I don't really want to put them in the car. So what I've been doing is I've been splitting them down into the smaller pieces. Which I'll then put into the bin because we always end up with spare space in the purple bin. Yeah, because we're in Liverpool, we have a purple bin. Look. <laughs> anyway, I've done what I can in the garden now because I've run out of uh, stuff. Until I can get the garden stores and get the shed moved, I think I'll need Gemma's help with that. It's not like super heavy, but I'll need to take everything out and put everything back in again. We'll uh, take a break on that one and then I'll sit down and have a nice drink. I also got covered in wood louse. Oops. <laughs> Well, I had a lovely bath and a relax and I came back into the lounge and look at this big marshmallow on the floor. <laughs> what a cutie. Also the rain that we were promised at about 12 o'clock didn't materialise. It's now 3 o'clock and it's just started spitting. It was supposed to be like thundering and lightning and everything. But yeah, we were pretty much rain for the rest of the night now, so no more gardening. Doesn't the hydrangea look lovely over there? colours on that and there's more blossom coming up on it as well Emma's home Is he I know I've not made out oh, and we've been out haven't we yeah, yeah. let's see my sister and my niece and my family birthday surprise not surprise present party <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice evening yeah it was good to see everyone good we'll get some food on anyway and get a drink too yeah also, I, did, I put this on three weeks ago now, but this is my Mexican lager called En Casa in the Pinter Brewery. It tastes just, Pinter Brewing too, it tastes just like Corona, so served with a slice of lime. It's particularly nice. Just a big plate of halloumi tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we just bought some finger food, didn't we? So yeah. we're just picking at bits. A picnic. Did you want me to put a garlic bread in? Yeah, you could do that, would be nice. Okay. Good morning. It's Sunday and I'm just watching these two play. Uh, she's got a proper giddy head on this morning. It's very, very cute. But Reggie's never quite sure how he wants to play. 
<laughs> I just put that new mat down this morning. Sorry, yesterday we got it from B&M when I was shopping for the bits for the garden. And look at the stair, the bumming litter coming out of the toilet already. Need to go and get the hoover. But today we are going into town for a bit. Uh, I'm going to drive into town today. Uh, we are going to go um, to the St George's Hall for this uh, this ticketed event that Gemma's Books was on. I keep forgetting the name of. What sh should we go and have a look at what it was called? Hang on a second. It is called Enlightenment. Enlightenment at St George's Hall in Liverpool, a sound and light show based on Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Have you ever dreamt with your eyes wide open? Uh, as, again, I, I mentioned yesterday, I don't know if we'll be able to vlog in there because it is like a lowered lights, light show event, and they might not want people filming it and uh, whatever. I will, if we can get some pictures, maybe I'll insert them into the vlog, but we'll see what happens when we get into town. But we'll probably have a little wander around town for a bit and uh, we'll pick up with you and update you on what we're doing as well. Also, this camera, I feel like I'm constantly fighting to try and keep the lens clear. Because it's got a screen protector on, like a glass screen protector, so the lens is sunk in as a result of glass screen protector. And I can never get it cl quite cl as clear as I'd like to. And also the lenses on the other side are all individual. Whereas on my Pixel, it was one big long piece of glass that you could wipe. So I always feel like I'm cleaning lenses with this. Otherwise, though, I'm really happy with it. And at some point, I might start looking at using 4K. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Because I've been watching uh, Tangled Up and Fun, switching over to the, everyone's using it now, but the Osmo Pocket 3, which is the gimbaled camera. And I'm like, maybe we should try that one too. All of our vlogs, at the, at the minute we are, the, the plan with our vlogs is that we use this one for like the day to day, which is what we're doing now effectively. And anything like ride footage, if we're on rides or anything like that in the future, we'll just use our DJI. It'll just be the combination of these two cameras, but you know, I do consider maybe there's room in there for the uh, Osmo Pocket. It's just it's 400 and odd pounds, and I don't know if I really need it for our channel because we seem to have a fairly decent setup. I've basically cut the ZV1 out of the, the mix now because um, it annoys me that camera, it always has done. I think I'm the only one it annoys. I must admit, a lot of people seem to get on quite well with it anyway. That's my camera up there. See again though, look. I don't know if it's just me, but my face is all washed out. It's probably because of the backlight actually more than anything. Yeah, it is. It's the backlight. And before we go into town, I thought I'd come out here and check this. We had a good rainstorm last night. And I hadn't gotten around to horse piping any of this. And now it's all clean. It's got all the dust off it. It looks really good. <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. It'll look even better once we get all the uh, the garden storage in here, I think, as well. It's not quite as imposing. We're in town. The car park's the busiest I've ever seen it. <laughs> Although we don't normally park at this time of day, and only either very early or late on. Anyway, we're going to have a little walk around some shops, and then we'll head up to the St George's Park. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I Good. We did have a sneaky look in the Lego store, but it was absolute bedlam in there, so we... Uh, we came back out. Yeah, it's um, first weekend of the school holidays, isn't it? Yeah. Walked past the blue coat on the way up to uh, Rough Tread. We did have a look in the Dot Martin shop as well, but Gemma was good. And she's got most of them anyway. <laughs> Gemma's found a, a Korean supermarket that's opened up in St John's. It smells delicious in here, I must admit. I'm getting quite hungry. <laughs> yeah. Extensive selection of desserts and mochi. It's like Soul Plaza. Pretty nice actually in there. The food smells amazing. Oh, Plast out again, Dodd. End towards St George's Hall. We've not been over this way for a little while. And we came over here to do the beer festival just before all the lockdowns. One of the last things we did actually, it was a good night. Don't remember much of it. it Gemma won a competition and all the beer was free. <laughs> For four people. Mm. And it was just those two. Yeah, we had four tickets and all tokens. There's actually someone up there doing a photo shoot as well at the minute. I'm assuming for the uh, theatre. All f in full costume as a crow or something. Quite Definitely impressive. Big wings. Yeah, unfortunately I can't get them on camera from where we are. Without like going yeah. invading this place. And this, this space has been used for loads for long. It was most recently was the Batman, wasn't it? 
yeah. uses St George's Hall and actually there's films that have been in, are in production now that used it as well. It's the American uh, uh, yeah, they're great. Harry Potter place. Yeah. Magisterium is it? Got the um, Empire Theatre yeah. over there as well. And if you do come over here or this part of town, got the uh, art galleries over here, the libraries over here and the museum is over here as well so loads to do around here and this building's obviously beautiful. Still want to stay in that hotel, it's the Lime Street Hotel, the train station's behind it. The pillars in here, they're huge. Looks like we're heading in. Very cool. So when you're sitting in here and, and you get a choice of chairs or bean bags, and Gemma picked bean bags, so we might struggle to get up. <laughs> you can see the pipe organ up there behind us as well, which is cool. I think it was that side that was in the Fantastic Beasts as well. So I can't really show you because the light's low, but we're actually on a wooden deck in here. And underneath the deck, over here, there's like glass. And you can see all the old tile work and sometimes they uncover it and you can come in here and see it. We'll have to do that at some point, it's very cool. There's Gemma's shoe. Floors on the way out. Nice. Did you enjoy that, honey? Oh, it was so good. Yeah, it's cool, it was so wasn't relaxing. it? Mm -hmm. I nearly fell asleep towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was super chill. It was, uh, you said it was £15, 15 ticket. £15 ticket, yeah. And uh, it's about what, 25, 30 minutes long, something yeah. like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's on until like September, so like, come and check it out if you're in town. Sure. It's worth a do. It was good really fun. good. It's like, so relaxing. Yeah. The music's lovely. I'll, I'll put, I'll put, I managed to get a few clips for the vlog as well, so that was good because I wasn't expecting to be able to, but yeah, they were chill with your filming. No flash just no flash photography, yeah. yeah, which is understandable. Anyway, we're going to head back now. Oh, I forgot to say earlier, I did buy a record as well. <laughs> of course I did. It's not a drill. The Lego man's outside the Lego store meeting and greeting. <laughs> Gemma said, do I want me picture? No, I'm not good with characters. My record purchase is Neon Neon Stainless Style. This is a concept album featuring members of Spank Rock, the 
cancelled hammer superstar griff from the super fire animals it's it's quite a lesson it's 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 about john delorean <laughs> can finish it now. There we go. All of the edging is done. It needs pushing back a little bit there actually but I'll do that in a bit. Yeah and Gemma's just laid this slate down at the back here which actually looks really good but you can tell the difference now that um, this has been washed and that hasn't yet which is why I wasn't super happy about this last week but now it looks really good the colours so that'll obviously get washed in time as well. So Jem is just checking up on the, the enlightenment that we just saw and getting the details, if you are interested. So it's um, on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays, 3 o'clock till 8.30. Sundays, 10am till 3.30 and it lasts about 30 minutes. And we pay £15 a person. And it's, all, it's already been in Zurich, Lyon and Turin right. before it came to us. Um, it was there good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, she didn't say St George's Hall, it's just a bar. Yeah, St George's Hall is just a beautiful building. Children are cheaper. 10 to 17 are £10.50. Children at £8.50. I, I bought it free style Yeah. because I saw the advert. So we got it. Uh, it's £13.50. It changes throughout the day oh, I see. as you go. So you might, you, you might find varying prices. So the 8pm one is only eleven fifty. Yeah. whereas the 6pm one is thirteen fifty, and we went to the till the clock show. It was 11.50, sorry, I just made up the prices. <laughs> well, yeah, somewhere between sort of 10 and 15 quid for adults. And you can get like group bundles and stuff like that there as well. And, and seniors are six five plus and more. And if you're not comfortable with sitting on the bean bags where we were sat, there was chairs at the back of it. And yeah, it was I'm pretty I'm tempted good. to book it again because I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, if you want to, I didn't mind it at all. I like said, it's on all through the summer, all through September, so absolutely ages to go and see it again. It was just so chill. I know, you know towards the end. Trippy as well. It went a bit trippy. Yeah, like, when it went trippy like towards the end, I started feeling quite tired and sleepy, and yeah. I was like, I could probably fall asleep. Because it was like waves of light coming down mm. over you. It was just so nice. You know, the bean bags were dead comfy. <laughs> I know, I'm thinking of getting a couple yeah, of them for the garden. Yeah, it was so <laughs> comfy. And they had like a little headrest that you could just like lie back on and just look up. And we had like, I feel like we had like a really good spot because we could see literally the centre of the ceiling right yeah. above us. The crest was right there, which looked really nice in the middle of it all. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Food. I like doing stuff like that. Anyway, we've done our gardening bit. And it started to rain, so we've come mm. in. We're going to enjoy a, bit, a glass of my uh, Encasa beer that I brewed. And I'm going to order some takeaway for tea. Yes, I've already started. Oh, what, what are you getting? Naya. Yeah. <laughs> it's good Naya, though, and it's fairly healthy as well, with it being uh, all just grilled meats yeah, and salads. Yeah, me a, a discount code mm. as well. Reggie's interested in now, you so. think. Oh, what was dinner? He was early for us. It's early for us. That's too early, yeah. We haven't had any dinner, have we? So it's four o'clock now. Meanwhile, uh, she's watch washing his porch swing. <laughs> Dinner arrived very quickly today. <laughs> Looks really good though. Some chicken in there, some lamb, lots of salad and rice. We're just watching the Batman after our trip to St George's Hall today. And some of this might seem quite familiar from what we saw earlier. They obviously CGI a lot of stuff in the background, but that's the very building that we were just stood outside stop. of. Yeah, and the bus stop, the they, they bus actually stop. left a yellow bus stop. There isn't a yellow bus stop there in real life, I don't think either. The but they did they did put one in. And in the background, you can see the art gallery in the, the uh, areas that we saw as well. And then the city behind is all CGI'd in. But yeah, that's that's where we were earlier. I did just check, and Gemma was spot on. That bus stop that we saw actually was there. When they were filming the films, it was ripped up sometime after. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Living in a, a film set. My favourite thing is uh, when they were filming the film they had a Gotham City bus on the street and someone sneaked up in the dust rot Boris as a knob.
Monday night and we got the final piece of the puzzle we were going to get two we just went with the one but it's a bigger one than that one and we might get like a bench or something just to put all the cushions for this in that might be quite nice to sit on also good evening cat <laughs> we've got an idea for him as well to replace the suitcase that he seems to quite like lying on because obviously we can't keep that here done easy as that uh, these are the ones so this is big because it's designed to take two of those wheelie bins so everyone buys that one on Amazon and complains because you can't fit those wheelie bins in it that one can't take the smaller wheelie bins if you want the bigger wheelie bin one you need to get, get the story out max I'm saying this but I don't put bins in them <laughs> although I will put this bin in there now just to weigh it down just in case we get any wind because there's nothing in it right now and there's no weight to them if you do want this as a wheelie bin store by, by the way, you get these little holes here and you get some hooks and you screw a chain into here with the hook and hook the hook onto your wheelie bin so when you open the lid up all your bins open up as well. So it has actually got some thought to it. I don't think this larger one was as good quality as the smaller one though because these bits here I think I'm going to have trouble with in future. The screws aren't lined up super well so I might have to come back around and get some wood or something to hold it all together some little blocks of wood or something or some washers or some bolts maybe actually run bolts through it but we'll worry about that if it becomes a problem but yeah this one was 160 you can get that one for 120 130 on amazon um or 124 if you don't want the pistons because it's got the soft open soft closed pistons on it they cost a bit extra i do kind of wish i did put the bins in it now because it does look quite neat <laughs> Although I don't think this lid will close because of the way it's set leaning. Oh no, I'm wrong. And there it is with the door shut. So eventually we will probably have the bins, one of the bins there, maybe a couple of them in front here. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Or the other thing we were thinking is maybe putting a little bench here. But I'm not so sure. I was going to have two of these. One of them overlapping onto here. And then the shed the other way around. But I think Gemma's right, it's a bit overpowering. It's Tuesday and Pixie is doing her favourite lying like the oldest cat who ever lived. <laughs> she just look, she falls asleep sort of sat up like this and she just looks all confused. Oh dear, look at her. You alright, sweetheart? And of course, Brother Reginald, flat out. Well, it is Wednesday. I always feel like... We get to this point in the vlog and I've not done anything Monday, Tuesday, but I always do just leave it open just in case we do something, you know, because you never know, we might figure out something. I'm just in the process of uh, putting my dinner on, uh, so I'm just having a moment away from my desk and I thought I'd better end the vlog off because I need to get it edited tonight. We had a good weekend though, I've got loads done in the garden, I'm really happy with how that ended up turning out, you know, I wasn't sure last week when I was putting the gravel down that it was looking like it was going to come out good. But adding that border with the wood and then getting the gravel washed in the rain looks fantastic now. I'm really happy with it. 
I'm actually thinking of maybe doing other things out there, you know, like really utilising the space. But I guess it's something for future years that we don't need to rush all that stuff now. What we do want to do is this area down the bottom where we sit in the summer, maybe beautify it a little bit more, making it a little nice area. And Gemma was thinking of maybe even getting like a pagoda to go here or something. So that's all for future times anyway. But we need to end this vlog now. Uh, and we will catch up with you next weekend when we are actually going out. At this rate, I think, I, I think the plan is we're going to go over to Ormskirk again. So we did that December, I think it was. We went out over to Ormskirk from the, on the train. So we could have a few beers in Ormskirk and a little bit of a wander around. Got some good food. So we're planning on doing that again with our friends. Uh, so that should be good fun. Uh, yeah, and other than that, it'll be me in the garden probably because it's apparently going to be an absolutely lovely weekend. So we can get the lawns mowed and I don't know what else. Weed probably because the weeds at the back of the garden are taking over. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.